was a flip of the coin to see the full moon, the blue moon, uh, overnight because it was cloudy in some spots. It got cloudy. We started around here. We saw several pixels came in here last evening, too. But this is a lovely shot. Take a look at this one down near the Washington Monument. Oh, can you yeah. pick out the monument oh. there and look over to the right? And you can see the uh, uh, just past full moon, the uh, waning gibbous. Blue moon or sap moon, as you can call it. Of course, it's not blue. It's just because it's the second full moon of the month. And there's the Washington Monument right there. So there's a lovely shot. Thanks to Jim Havar down there for sending that picture into Anaritis. And uh, let's see what's going on here with Easter Sunday. Well, last year, it was the second warmest Easter on record. I don't remember that, actually. Do you remember that? It was really very, very warm. The hottest was back in 1976. It was a scorching 94. Then we have other years back in 1986 in the, in the third spot. 2010, 2011 were warm Easter's. All those, of course, in April. And a couple of weeks from uh, what it is this time around, this year, of course, April being April 1st. So this afternoon, about 57 between 1 and 2 o'clock this afternoon. Then it'll start to cool off a little bit later this afternoon. There could be a brief shower this morning in a few spots. A gusty southwest wind turning into the west. And it'll be gusty just about all day. These will be highs right around 57 to maybe 58 in a few spots. Especially warmest will be right in here. It'll be coolest on the New England south coast as that wind comes up across the water. And in western and northern New England, it'll be cooler. But this is where it's going to be the warmest, right in here, right close to Boston uh, early this afternoon. <clears throat> Currently, we're getting close to 50 in many spots, not far from it. But look at the cold air behind. Buffalo sitting at 30. Detroit's 30. Green Bay is 17. The cold air is not that far away, and it's spreading across much of the northern United States, but the southern part of the country today on this Easter Sunday will be looking pretty good. Here's a weak system out here in the Plain States, and that's going to be all the way up here giving us snow tomorrow morning. It's going to move that fast, a really fast mover. It's not going to slow down. It's not going to intensify into a major storm. We'll show you that in just a little bit. But here's a few showers moving across extreme southern New England right now, affecting mainly southeastern Massachusetts with those showers in the next couple of hours. So that's where it's going to rain mainly. There could be an isolated shower elsewhere, but it's going to be turning sunnier from northwest to southeast during the afternoon. Temperatures going down by late this afternoon and falling down to 30 to 32 tonight. Snow starts tomorrow morning roughly around 8 to 9 o'clock in Boston, early to the southwest. Some of that snow coming down a pretty good clip, but probably not amounting to much on the roadways. It's going to be clearing from northwest to southeast during the afternoon. A coating to 2 inches. Seems likely coating up here, ranging up to one inch in the pike and two inches down here, maybe some isolated three-inch amounts as well. Uh, but I think mainly on non-paved surfaces. It's really got to come down very hard, snowing and during the daytime hours in April for that to happen. And there may be some slick roads in southwestern Connecticut. Uh, it's going to rain later Tuesday afternoon. It's going to be a very warm day on, t on Wednesday. Upper 60s to near 70, except 50s on the south coast with a very gusty wind, a few showers and storms, and it's colder the second half of the upcoming week. There you go. Barry, thank you.